Hello and welcome to the video. I am quite excited today because I'm going to be traveling with you guys on this wonderful journey. Today, we are at the Baltimore's Inner Harbor, Maryland, United States of America. This is an historic site because this is where the popular Yankee resource ship that navigated the world's ocean is docked. According to our tour guide, the U.S. African Squadron, also known as Yankee Racehorse Ship, captured 14 slave ships and liberated almost 4,000 African slaves. Hello, welcome to the USS Constellation Education Center at the heart of Baltimore Harbor in Maryland. When you come in, you get your ticket, and uh, once you get your ticket to go inside the USS Constellation, the popular Yankee horse ship, then you proceed to wait for the guide, the tour guide, to take you inside the... My name is Mohammed. I grew up in Queens, New York City. Um, I'm an upcoming senior at NYU. I go to their business school. And yeah, we're here in Maryland just like for a couple days. Um, yeah, just trying to have a good time. And I, I met him right now and, you know, just thought like his insights were really cool. You know, he's been to Egypt a couple of times and, you know, just got to know him and talk to him. And it's been really cool. Appreciate it. Right. Mm -hmm. So you drove all the way from New York just to come and explore Baltimore Harbor, where the uh, popular, popular Yankee horse uh, sh ship is docked. So yep. what interests you in the African slave history? So yeah, just, you know, we in school, we've been learning about it since we were like kids and, you know, just to be able to come and see these like historic things and, you know, these ships were, you know, you know, these people were actually on and, you know, they lived their lives on them. Just to be able to come and see that, it's like kind of mind-blowing and mind-boggling to be able to, like, experience this. So that's one of the main reasons we came down here, to explore the history. And, you know, New York City, not necessarily, we don't get a lot of this specific type of stuff. Well, you don't you know, have the vibe in New York. Right, right. It's like a different, it's a different vibe, right? But, um, right. you know, we have, like, the harbors where there's, like, Navy ships and all that, but not, like, maybe to this extent. So, you know, it's nice to come and, you know, just experience a different, like, vibe, you know. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah, you see, this is what I promised you to bring the most important 
travel story from all across mm -hmm. the world to your view. So let's go into the constellation, the popular Yankee horse ship that was docked here in Baltimore Harbor in 1861. You just got to watch out. It's, it's in, the, you're gonna, you can hit your head, as I'm telling you. It's, wow, it gets wow. hotter the more you go down. The more you go down. Yeah. Oh, okay. So but it's interesting. It's a lot. You see a lot of interesting things. You know, one of the most interesting things we saw was like the medical area, and there we read the thing, and I was like, you know, that's where they would like, you know, for wounded patients if they needed to amputate, they have like the instruments there. The Africans, yeah, the slaves. Yeah. Right, right. So uh, like where they would do amputations, and you know the beds they would keep them in, and just to think, you know, you know, obviously with the advancements we have now, just to think like, you know, this is how they used to do it back then, and. You wow, know, you would think it was just painful and painful. just like and unbelievable, you know, horrifying, horrifying, painful, cruel, right? Right. So, and to keep them in like ships like this, and th even the room they were kept in is very small, and, like right. you know, con confined. So, right. It's just it's interesting to see. It's, it's sad, but very interesting and very emotional. Yeah, so let's go sure. in there and see. Muhammad is also here in Maryland with some of his friends. You know, uh, you can see, yep. you know, my man over there, he already subscribed to the channel. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Yeah, thank you so much, you know, thank you. All right, all right. Nice to meet you too. to explore what actually led to what and uh, how the horseship, the Yankee horseship was used to stop the slave traders from Africa. This is the popular Baltimore Harbor, the ocean all the way from Africa continent, all the way, all the way from the Africa. You can see the Baltimore National Aquarium. The National Aquarium is across from us. And uh, now we, uh, we go in. Follow me on this beautiful, very wonderful journey traveling with Abdul Rashid Abu Bakr. the ship we are on the ship now we are going to travel on this ship to West Africa on the Atlantic Ocean this is a very powerful and uh, very touching moving story for me especially coming from Africa and uh, visiting after visiting the Cape Coast Castle, the Elmina Castle, and uh, so many other castle that was used by the slave trade masters in Africa. I've decided to come here today to connect the story because a lot of people actually was wondering how did they transport over a million 
slaves from Africa to the America, to Europe, and to the Caribbean. A lot of people are wondering how was that possible? This is the ship that the United States Congress passed a law when the slave trade was outlawed. This ship was used by the US Navy to intercept other ships that were carrying slaves from the continent. You can see it's a very massive ship. These ships have been maintained. You see, these are, you know, hold, hold thing that when the ship was first commissioned in 1797 by the U.S. Navy. This is one of the cannons that is being used by the U.S. Navy to protect this sh ship from attackers who are willing or trying to attack them when they intercept those ships capturing, you know, transporting slaves on the Atlantic Ocean to America and other, you know, to the Caribbeans. This, these are smaller ones here. This is very historic. They try to maintain it. This is over 200 years, you know, so it's very powerful. And you can see, you can see this, this is not, this is not a small, ship at all. This is a very, very big ship and it's very popular all over the world. You know, once this ship hit the Atlantic Ocean, the slave traders, once they see this ship, they know what is coming to them because it's the Yankee horse ship. Very, very powerful. So now we go inside. These cannons are used to protect this ship. And you can see, uh, you know, the amount of cannons that were, you know, placed in the, in the ship. Look, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. This is very powerful and this is a very, very, very huge ship. And it's very popular on the, on the ocean. You know, come and see some of the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the feedings that the Navy, you know, what they ate, why in the, in the ship, this is, like uh, uh, vegetable, coffee, vinegar. This is uh, juice, molasses. This, you know, these are the stuff. And the, the, the interesting, one of the interesting thing is that these are really, really, really old historical fruits. Very, very historical. You can see that is the coffee. This coffee actually from Ghana. The cookies by the Navy. This is one of the very, very emotional stage. Going into the main ship itself, you can see this is what they use to get the hot water. They use this to fry, to get their food. The Navy, Navy, Navy uh, sales. This is also their cooking pots. here 
because they take turns work on shifts. So when they are tired inside the ocean, some of them will just come here. The Navy actually will come here and uh, relax. You can see. So while the ship continue the journey, this is a patrol ship that was used to intercept other ships carrying slaves from Africa. You see? I'm still going to take you to where the slaves actually are actually kept. You can see their plates displayed here with you know some food. According to the history, even though the food were cooked and prepared at the stove on the gun deck upstairs where I first you know show you the kettle. The crew ate their meals here on the bath deck. Each sailor was assigned to a group of 10 to 15 men called a mess who ate together, you know, they ate together, you know, so you can see their foods, plates. And when you come in here, this is the dispensary where you know these are original you know desk that were used by the uh the doctors the nurses that travel with the sailors and the uh army navy on this ship this is the original dispensary So this is, you know, this is like a small space for sailors to actually report back. You know, this this uh, this job of the U.S. Navy was a very, you know, uh, huge thing. So they have to report back to their headquarters, even though they are on the Atlantic Ocean across. Africa, on the continent of Africa, they have to report back to the, to the headquarters. And this is one of the offices they use. Junior officers use the outside space that I showed earlier, and the senior officers, you know, stay here to relax and give commands. Also guide junior officers on what to do. This spot right here was the executive officer's office. And as you can see, this is one of their hats, you see, sailor. So this is, he actually sleeps here. He sleeps here. And you can see the, I can touch and feel the executive officer's, uh, you know, uniform here. You can see. So this is one of their historical uh, uniform. This is where they sleep. This is second lieutenant. This is his own place. And you can see the uniform of the second lieutenant is different from the one of the executive officer. So this is for the uh, second lieutenant, who is also known as the navigator. This is the third lieutenant here. The third lieutenant space is here. These are very, very historical. They manage to maintain, you see the woods, they manage to maintain everything to preserve it the way it was over 100 years ago. This is the powerful, popular Yankee horse ship. This is the space for the third lieutenant, and this is the space for the fourth lieutenant. The fourth lieutenant stays here on the Yankee horse ship. And this is the fifth lieutenant space. So this is just for them to wind down and, uh, you, know, you know, relax. Because traveling on the Atlantic Ocean takes a lot of time. 
you know, and they, some of them stays on this ship for several months, year, before they come back home. This is uh, actually space for them to keep some of their guns and their weapons alike. USSR uh, Navy chaplain stays here and also Marine Lieutenant. Marine Lieutenant stays here and you can see this is the Marine Lieutenant uh, uniform. This is where the surgeon is. The surgeon stays here. And also Paymaster. This is the uh, paymaster. He's responsible for the ship's bookkeeping, finances, and uh, you know, purchases, supplies, anything that has to do with the clinic and uh, other things. You know, he is in charge of that. The paymaster do that, and also that is a small dining. For, for, for them, you know, the, the, the executive officer, the first lieutenant, second lieutenant, third lieutenant, fourth to the fifth, to the chaplain, you know, to the uh, paymaster that I'll just show you. This is where they dine. This is their dining table, you know, when they want to come out together and eat. And also this is the master uh, spot. The master is also one of the most important uh, Navy officer. He is also a sailor. This is where he stay. So that is his uniform. This is traveling with Abdul Rashid Abu Bakar.